We all make mistakes. Some are small, some are large. But his mistake, born of innocence, fueled by pride, was the greatest and most terrible of them all. Some believed when the prince journeyed to the island of time to escape death, that he returned alone. The amulet destroyed. The Dahaka appeased. The Empress dead. The prince was free at last. But this is not how it happened. The truth is that he chose to save me from my destiny. In doing so, he set me free. And doomed us all. Prince, of all the possible futures, this one held the most promise that something has changed. Do not worry, Kailina. No harm will come to you in Babylon. I promise. Look, we are nearly home. As our ship lay sinking in the harbor, the prince found himself in a city quite different from the one he left behind. The normally busy wharves were now decimated. Blood-spattered awnings and splintered door frames were all that waited to greet him. And the people, merchants, beggars, fishermen, were nowhere to be found. Others had taken their place. Why is it that every time disaster strikes, I find myself without a proper blade? Still, it's better than nothing. Kailina! No! It was as if he had learned nothing from his past adventures. Or perhaps he'd simply forgotten, made blind and deaf by fear and rage. This is how it happened. This is how I died. No! What have we here? The vizier! Ah, you must be the prince of Persia. Come home at last. Too late, I'm afraid. 
that. I believe I have something of yours. Oh, no! Helena! Everything had come full circle. The prince had resurrected his greatest enemy. Worse, he had accidentally delivered me into the man's hands, unleashing a nightmare plague across Babylon. As if this was not enough, the prince had nearly been transformed by the sands himself. Though he had avoided death, he had not escaped entirely untouched. Wake up, prince. Wake up. Wake up! Attention. Something's happening down there. Is that... It's the Vizier! He has been completely transformed! Interesting. He has used the power of the sands to transform his army. And these artifacts will allow him to transport them across the city with ease. He appears to be in complete control. Things do not look too good for you at the moment. I will not let the Vizier have Babylon. My city. My throne. Are you sure you can control this thing? Let us hope. If I crash, it is the end for both of us. The Prince! And so once more the prince began the journey home. His mind of fire with visions of the justice yeah. he would visit upon the vizier. We made it! All yours! Come on! The once bright and vibrant streets of Babylon now stood all but deserted, its inhabitants either dead or fled. Those left behind suffered terribly, captured, tortured, and transformed. But the prince did not notice this. So focused was he on the vizier. This thing was once a man. 
He was there when Kylina died. Wait your response. I have heard tales, wondrous tales of a beautiful and brave princess of India, one who has traveled to Babylon seeking to punish an evil vizier who has caused her great distress. See? Now she's going to kill us. How in the world have you managed to survive this long? Good luck, stranger. Dagger of Time. How did you come to possess that? Here we go again. I took it. From the Vizier. That traitor. He murdered my father, enslaved my people, imprisoned me. And all in the name of becoming some kind of god. I know too well what he is capable of. But I intend to find him and punish him for what he has done to my kingdom. You are the son of Sharaman? The Prince of Persia? And you are the daughter of the Maharaja. We both seek the same thing. Perhaps we should journey together. Perhaps. Provided you can keep up. I grow tired of her little tests. It is simply her way. I assure you, she will prove a valuable ally. All right. I'm impressed. I suppose it is wise to work together. There is strength in numbers, after all. I'm glad you've come around. Just don't make me regret it. Now, let us find the Vizier. What? What is that thing? It's the Vizier. What's happened to him? Something terrible. Something wonderful. Wait! No! Be happy that he is gone. You never would have stood a chance. Oh, how silly of me. You're right. Perhaps we should surrender. Or turn away and leave the city. I know a lovely little island just a few weeks journey from here. I'm sure by the time we return this will all be sorted out. If it comforts you to mock me, then by all means continue. But you are so focused on killing him you've thrown strategy completely out the window. You could have died. I suppose. But now we need to find a way to enter the temple. We're wasting time here. That seems to be our best bet. <laughs> 